What is up, guys? It is your boy, Central here. Obviously, it's in a little bit in a different area. Um, as you can tell, uh, I moved my setup again. And, well, it's just because um, yeah, I wanted to. So, uh, in advance, I probably sound like I'm sick. Uh, I probably am. Uh, my voice is obviously a little bit deeper. That's just because that... Uh, I have a sore throat, and I probably have a cold as well. You know, I've been sneezing a lot. I may sneeze in this video. If I do, I'm sorry. Uh, and, I mean, other than that, just it's kind of stuff that you're going to have to get through with me. Uh, unless you're not a supporter of me, then get out. Uh, but, yeah, no, if you want to be here, of course, awesome. This is a new type of video that I'm trying to do. Um, obviously, I'm standing up. No, this ain't no, well, I guess you could call it stand-up, but... It's not the stand-up that you think it is, you know? I'm not a comedian, even though that would be awesome. And I've, 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 geez, I've actually talked about being a comedian for a while. And um, not that I'm funny at all. Uh, I just think I got some decent jokes. Uh, but I may or may not say any of them, just depending on how tired I am and how funny I would like to be for the night. But like I was saying, my name is Will Central. This is a new type of deal on the channel here. I don't know what the hell I'm going to call it, honestly. Um, I'm just standing up basically for as long as I want, talking about whatever I want. Um, past, present, or future, I try to leave the past out of it because the past is what happened. It's behind me. I can't do anything about it, you know what I mean? So I try to just work on the present and then, of course, the future. So just received a vi or a comment on uh, my Nike 80 NXTs, the white uh, basketball shoes that I bought in California. Um, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but uh, Tishawana, Tishawa, Tishana, Tishana, Francis, <coughs> excuse me, Tishana, I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong and you're watching this, but Tishana Francis is commented nice. Those shoes are fire. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I think they're fire, too. Honestly, they're really dirty now because they're obviously all white shoes. Uh, so I do need to bring my uh, Jason Mark uh, shoe cleaning kit and clean those, as well as my Kobe 11s. My Kobe 11s have been through a lot. <coughs> honestly, give me one second. I just need to get some water. All right. Got the water. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, that'll keep my throat from drying out too much, especially, especially because I'm a little bit under the weather, probably sore throat, all that kind of stuff. Sorry if I breathe on the mic as well. I'll try not to do that, but um, yeah, like I was saying, basically it's just uh, kind of talking to you guys about um, present, future stuff like that. So yeah, um, <coughs> not that you guys really care about my life that much. Pretty sure you don't. <clears throat> but. Oh no. I'm sorry. I, it's really bad for you. Don't chew eyes please. <sighs> uh, this is the way I drink. Like my lip is not low enough to where the ice just stops. So yeah. I can't do nothing about it unless I get a straw, but I don't think we have any straws, so, yeah. Um, yeah, like I was saying, not many of you or most of you probably really care about my life, but um, for those of you who are here to support me strictly on what I believe in and what I think that I can do, uh, thank you. Uh, you know, round of applause for you. I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. The support that you guys give me, uh, it's awesome. So, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um but I guess I could talk about that now because uh, G Fuel, okay, G Fuel, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, G Fuel is an energy formula. No, it's not necessarily a pre-workout. I mean, you can use it for an energy boost um, in your pre-workout or whatever, uh, but it's not an actual pre-workout. It's just, it's, it's essentially a healthy version of a monster or a Red Bull. Uh, without all the bad stuff in it. And 
on the bright side, it tastes pretty good. So, at least in my opinion. Uh, I guess I can go. So, I never did an unboxing on this guy, but this is the, uh, well, the light's in the way, but this is the Peach Dice Tea, uh, inspired by Lyric G Fuel. This is the most, actually, no, stand corrected, this is not the most recent flavor by G Fuel. Uh, it's actually weird, like, they released Peach Ice Tea, like, really, really early, well, not really early, but like a month ago, and then in less than a month, they released a new flavor. I, I'm kind of curious as to why they did that so fast. I guess they were just ready to make the move. But I wasn't, like, money-wise, because I really low-key want to get it and try it with milk. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about strawberry shortcake. That's the newest flavor that G Fuel has to offer us. And, um, excuse me. And uh, I just, I, just, I want to try it, but... I don't have the money for it, you know, it just, it kind of sucks, and that's the problem with the way I'm trying to live my life out right now, is just, I want to buy things that I want to buy, I want to be able to, you know, do all these things, and I work, but all that work just goes essentially into a car and a gas and then food. The problem with me is that I have a really bad habit of spending a lot of money on food, and that's something that I just need to stop. It's really bad. Uh, sorry if I kind of cut out my voice, cuts off, or, you know, whatever. You think I'm still going through puberty. Uh, no, it's just my voice is messed up. So, uh, please bear with me. But, uh, yeah. You would think that, you know, because normally, if you know anything about G Fuel, they normally spend like a month, uh, at least a couple months, if not a few, uh, before they release a new product. But, you know, Peach Tea came out, or Peach Ice Tea came out, and then like two weeks later, I swear... Uh, strawberry shortcake came out, so, really, really crazy stuff, for sure, um, I have plenty of other flavors, other than peach diced tea, just from the ones that I'm looking at right here, I can see pink lemonade, lemonade, cherry limeade, um, a lot of aids, uh, not those kinds, uh, tropical rain, and I believe that is, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, rainbow strawberry, rainbow sherbet, rainbow sherbet. I think it is. I think I think it's called rainbow sherbet. I'm tripping. Uh, shame on me. I should know what that is, but I believe it is rainbow sherbet. And uh, I can see pineapple. Oh, I'm running a little low on face berry. That's gonna be another thing I need to pick up. So whenever there is a buy one get one free, I will definitely be getting strawberry shortcake and another tub of face berry. Uh, yeah. Oh, you guys are enjoying this so far. I, I think I'm having a good time, honestly. I, I prefer to stand up. I feel like sitting down and talking is just kind of like everybody else. You know, what what YouTube channel do you watch where uh, someone is actually standing up and talking uh, to the mic? I mean, obviously to you guys. Um, but it, essentially, this is stand-up, but it's not a stand-up comedy. It's just like a stand-up of uh, my life, essentially. Uh, and, yeah, you guys already know that through the intro of the video. But if you forgot... That yeah, I mean I I've never seen any other YouTuber do this, so to see me do this, I think it's kind of cool. Um, obviously it's gonna be something that I need to work on if I want to continue to do it. I gotta be careful with time. I know a lot of you guys have a very very busy schedule, busy day. You don't have all the time in the world for me, and I completely understand that. You know, like you go watch, you know, you manage to make time to go see uh, an hour long show of Kevin Hart or. Uh, whatever, but, I mean, you can spend 30 to an hour minute, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, um, watching YouTube, or watching YouTube videos, I'm pretty sure if you're a true supporter and you love what I put out for you guys, then you guys can appreciate this, so, I'm starting to cut out a little bit more, sorry about that, I promise these are gonna get better, especially when I get not sick, so, when I'm not sick, uh, and I can actually talk to you guys for a long period of time, uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys will be able to enjoy it a lot more, uh, as well as myself too. That way, I don't have to feel like I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not, not, I'm not forced to do this. I want to do this myself, of course. But, uh, yeah, my voice is starting to get lost. Holy crap! I just need to make sure that I'm straight because you know this is getting pretty bad. Um, all right, give me one minute, please. But yeah, G Fuel. 
I mean, I, I have really high expectations for them just because of who they are and what they uh, do. But, yeah, I mean, this sounds really bad. Holy crap. I don't, sorry. I don't know. Yo, wow. Holy crap. I don't even know if I'll be able to finish this video, honestly, guys. I, my voice is just starting to come in now. I may not even be able to talk at all tomorrow. Wow. That's crazy. This time of year, like every year, I swear, um, it's just, it's this bad for me. I don't understand why. And I've taken medications and all that kind of stuff and nothing works. Like, come on, guys. I, I, you know, I'm over here telling God, dude, I can't afford to have this right now. I'm sorry, but I don't need this in my life. But he gives it to me anyways, and it is what it is, so I'm just going to leave it alone right there. But like I was saying, anyways, I keep getting sidetracked. G Fuel, I, you know, high expectations for them, of course, because they are a big company. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I imagine if you don't know who they are, then they probably aren't an, a big company to you. But, um, but um, <laughs> they are based out of New York. Uh, for me, being in Texas and ordering that stuff on a two-day shipping, it normally gets here in three, because uh, the processing normally takes anywhere from a day to a week. But I just feel like because I bought so many things from them, they know, like, oh, this is the guy who purchases a lot of stuff from us. Let's make sure we get his order out so he continues to buy stuff from us. You know, they're doing their job. They're doing perfect, honestly. Um, I have no complaints with G Fuel. When I was younger, I believe I was probably 17, um, Cellular Courier reached out to me um, and wanted to uh, provide me with one of their um, gamer formula type deals. Because you guys know that um, uh, I believe they make C4, Cellular Courier, yeah, C4. Uh, C4, that stuff is very, very dangerous, so be careful if you're young like me. I recommend you not take it. I would probably wait until you're a uh, full growth development human being, probably around 20s, maybe like 22, 23 is when you're probably full grown technically, I guess, uh, for males. So probably around then is when I would recommend that. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about their gamer fuel. Anyways, they uh, wanted to provide me with one. Unfortunately, I couldn't accept it because I wasn't 18 at the time. And um, it just not being 18 uh, restricted me from being or being able to uh, accept other companies products that they would want to either one provide me with for free um, obviously I promote you know them I would say that this is uh, p this is you know paid content or this you know product and I never paid for it they paid it for me uh, it is a promotional video I guess you could say kind of I don't know uh, point is is that it can either be that or companies can reach out to me and say, hey, we'll give you 75% off this product or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, that and I got at least three companies that have did reach out to me when I was 17 as of right now since October 10th until now uh, being 18. I haven't received anything yet, but uh, that would be pretty cool if I did, you know, just being able to see those companies reach out to me and be like, hey, do you want to try this? Uh, you know, one was a Sephora Cellular Core. I forgot where the other one was. And then one was like a beauty product because they must have saw all my acne. And they were like, crap, dude, this dude can probably go far, but he needs to get rid of that acne in order to do that for some reason. I don't understand why. Look, if you're going to judge me, I just want to say this real quick. If you're wanting to judge me based off of my acne, get out. Leave the video right now. I do not appreciate you. You are not respectful to me. You are not respectful to the others that have acne. It is super not cool to, you know, be like that, you know. I have friends who have way worse acne than me. I don't say anything about it. But also, I don't even really honestly care. Like, that's not my problem. It's theirs. Like, if they want to do something about it, they'll do something about it. But you don't need to physically tell us, hey, dude, you look like shit. Uh, not like shit shit, but because you have acne on your face and you need to get rid of it. Like, don't be a dick, honestly. If you, you want to be a dick, like, go do that somewhere else. But... I don't need that vibe in my life, and I don't want to... No, I just don't need that. I don't know. That was, like, the serious part of the video. I just want to get that out of the way. Let you guys know. If you guys are still here because you support me and you don't hate me on my acne, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. You guys are the loyal subscribers that you... So rightfully, you don't deserve to be, of course. Uh, 
one thing I'm noticing, I'm looking down here uh, to see the camera, and, uh, well, you guys, of course, but I need to probably upgrade this camera to a, uh, uh, what is it, the Logitech 4K Brio. Um, oh, excuse me, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, just because I think it will personally look a little bit better. 1080p looks better. Of course, the 4K will look great. Uh, I also do need a Windows computer in order to probably do that because when I record with this, it doesn't give me the options to like, oh, do you want to change the 1080p to 720p? You know, it's like none of that stuff. It's just like, oh, whatever the highest supporting thing it is, is it's going to give it to you. So I would imagine I'm probably doing 1080p at, I believe, 60 frames a second, if not 30. Um, I do think it is 60. I mean, kind of just looking around, it does look more like 30, so maybe it is 30. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. G Fuel's been talked about. Assholes and dickheads have been talked about. We want to make sure they're gone out of this video. So whoever's remaining in this video, like I was saying earlier, thank you for being true, loyal fan. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Uh, but yeah. I'll be honest with you guys. Making this video while kind of under the weather is not fun. But for, well, it, it's cool, but it's just it would be a lot better if I just wasn't sick. But... I kind of got to, like, you know, stop down myself on that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Man, like I was saying, G Fuel's great. Um, I would love for Cellular Core to reach back out to me. I would love to be able to receive one of uh, their products and, of course, try it out, give my honest opinion about it. You know, is it better than G Fuel or is it not? You know, would I recommend it over G Fuel or would I not? You know, that kind of thing. I think that would be really cool. So, because I'm 18, companies will be able to actually send me stuff or I will be able to get a uh, huge discount to still promote their product on my channel, even though I'm not that high. I mean, don't get me wrong, 156 of you guys, I believe, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here, of course. Uh, I know that all of you never really get around to my videos. Most of you are just subscribed and then never watch my videos. But for the ones who are subscribed and actually do watch my videos, I do appreciate it. Um... You guys are the loyal ones. I mean, the other guys who subscribed and never watched my videos. Um, why are you subscribed, honestly? Like, it's it's cool to be to, uh, subscribed to someone. Like, I'll be real with you. I have, like, 40 people that I was subscribed to on YouTube. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't watch, like, any but three of them. And I literally shortened my list down from 40 subscribed people to, like, seven. Like, and I actually watch all of those seven YouTubers because now I actually see when they're <laughs> uploading. And, um, well, of course I have notifications on, but when I get home and I look at it, it's like, where's the video at? Uh, and then there's just some of them, like, I want to watch this one instead of this one. But with having less of them, it's like I have the time to be able to watch all of them. So it's a little bit more nicer. I can keep caught up with those, you know, seven people. So it's fun. I really do enjoy it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, I definitely am. Uh, other than being sick, of course. But yeah, need to do laundry tonight. That's for sure. Laundry's not looking too good right now, boys. If you do not do your laundry, do your laundry. Um, it's as simple as that. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, yeah, I need to do my laundry, and I'm gonna do my laundry after this video, of course. But like I was saying, I just I want to upload something different. Um, I've never seen this done before, and I would love to continue to do this. I think that it could really help kind of like my channel grow. It's just like this segment of, um, or this type of video, you know. I don't ever, I don't know, never see, I don't ever see other YouTubers do this. Like, I see other YouTubers sit down and talk. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> I mean, I don't ever see them stand up and do this kind of stand-up type of deal. You know what I mean? So, I think this is pretty fun. I mean, we're, wow, time flies. Holy crap. So, I'm probably just going to try to keep this to about half an hour. Um, but, yeah. I don't know how long I went on the other ones. So, uh, probably in here in the next five minutes or so. But, let's see what I can tell you guys in five minutes. So, uh, let's see. Today, today was not too bad, other than, of course, being sick. Um... Let's see, my programming class, I'll be honest with you guys, 
I started the programming class in like the eighth grade with robotics. And that was like semi program. Well, actually, no, I did it in seventh grade as well. So I started from seventh and eighth. Seventh and eighth grade were like robotics classes. And then high school, ninth up into this year, my senior year, um, I've been actually doing like actual programming on like a Java creator. And um, honestly, after doing it for so long, it's just not something that I enjoy. Um, no hate or disrespect to all the programmers out there. I'm sure you love what you do. Uh, if you don't and you're just doing it for the money, I highly recommend that you stop what you're doing and find what you love because uh, I can't tell you enough that there's not enough time in this world for you to just not enjoy life. You know what I mean? Like right now, for me personally, it's like it'd probably be a different story for me if – I was living in California and I knew other YouTubers. Maybe I could be a lot bigger than what I am now just because I could have like those types of connections. I mean, there's people in here in Texas too, but don't get me wrong. They're nowhere necessarily near as big as anybody in California. Um, and I'm not trying to hate or I'm not trying to uh, say that uh, I don't appreciate you guys because I definitely do, but. I just want to let you guys know that, like, it just could be a completely different situation if I was. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not really tripping over about it. I really want to kind of just grow my channel based off of what I put out. Uh, if I ever do, you know, one day meet, like, a higher-up YouTuber or whatever, if I ever go to a event where, um, like, I, for instance, I went to MLG Dallas last year. And, um, dude, that was, you know, it was lit. Uh, I wasn't able to play in the GB booth because I wasn't 18 at the time, of course. Um, but it was really awesome. I really did enjoy it. And um, I would definitely love to go back this year. Matter of fact. Excuse me. Uh, I made that too. Uh, they are having a Dallas event in December, I believe. And it's not actually in Fort Worth. This time it's actually in Dallas, Dallas. So, um, yeah. I think it'll be fun to go to, um, you know, my favorite team being Optic Gaming. Um, it was really cool to, you know, it's weird. It's really, honestly, to my perspective, it's it's really weird on how uh, we uh, view people that are more well-known than us. Um, just like, I don't know. To me, it's crazy, and I kind of got a sense of what it's like to be the, um, I hate using this word, but underclass, um, because I see all these fans, and it's cool to be a fan, like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm sure some of you guys may be a fan of me or whatever, that's awesome, you know, thank you very much, but um, to see all these fans, you know, cheering for, you know, this team or other team or whatever, you know, they could be a fan of... Uh, well, let's just say, in my for me, I'm an optic gaming fan. You know, I'm a fan of you know, Scump, Crim, Karma, and uh, Formal. But you know, just like I don't know, it was weird, honestly, because I've watched their videos for years. I've obviously seen them kind of grow in a couple of years. Um, I've grown as well, of course. Um, seeing, kind of seeing that, um, and then. I never got the chance to actually meet them in person when I was there, um, just because I was I was probably more nervous than anything. I'll be honest with you guys. For me, it was a little nerve wracking. You know, seeing them in person is like, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> like, I don't know how to present myself. Like, I do I be formal? Do I just be straight up? Like, what's up? Um, I didn't know how to act honestly, so I never actually ended up meeting the guys there. Um, I almost, you know, met uh, Hector, uh, the owner of Optic, um, that one time. Seems to be a very busy man. He was on the, the phone. We were walking by. I um, probably just noticed me because I was wearing an Optic jersey, but I kind of just did like a little bit of a nod. So uh, I didn't want to interrupt him, of course. You know, that's not cool. You know, he's, he's on the phone. I'm not going to be like, oh, yo, can I get a pig with you? You know, whatever. Um, no, I'm going to let him finish his business. And, you know, if I catch him again, then cool but uh, I wasn't feeling you know ruin his conversation or whatever I wasn't that's just not me personally um I can be more patient than a lot of other people trust me 
Um, but yeah, it's like the other thing, you know, too, is, um, I think I may have saw Nufo there. Um, if you don't know, probably a lot of you guys don't even know who I'm talking about. This is how you know that I really don't have a life and I just, I kind of seclude myself and like the whole gaming community. Like, honestly, I just feel like I need more gaming friends because I don't really have a lot of friends in the real, real world to where I actually leave every day and kind of do anything. It's just like really just watching like, you know, Twitch streams, um, YouTube videos, and just me playing my own games, of course, and whatnot. But a lot of you guys probably don't even know who I'm talking about. So if you don't, um, go look them up for sure. You know, I highly recommend it. Um, it's something that I like. Of course, nobody's going to necessarily like what I like, but uh, I can always recommend it to you guys because I like it. But like I was saying, just overall, I actually extended way over the time. Damn it. Actually, no, I didn't. Um, like I was saying, you know, just uh, seeing him on a computer screen for the longest time and then seeing him in person is just, it's a lot different. It was really awkward, honest, honest, honestly. Um, it's, I don't really know how other well or how to, you know, describe it. Other than it was just kind of an awkward deal. And, um, yeah, like, like, there may be some times where, like, you know, they'll come up to you or whatever, but that's very rare. Like, I'm pretty sure they just want to be left alone, you know, especially during, like, you know, uh, an event like that where it's, like, $250,000 on the line or whatever, you know. I'm pretty sure they're really focused on getting that, um, I believe first place is 80 k I think that's what they won, Optic. Um I think it was 80k total, which is really, really cool, you know, I, it's crazy to think about that kind of stuff, I'm not sure I'm going to try to get into that, I don't want to overflow your minds with like new information, like what, um, but it, it's still crazy to think that people play video games and get paid for it, like, that's like honestly low-key a dream come true for me, uh, is to go, you know, competitive in Call of Duty, or, uh, I don't know, just be like a YouTuber too, I mean, that'd be really cool as well, you know, so, uh, yeah, you know, it's just something that I really enjoy, you know, I love to continue to do it, and I love to pursue it, of course. Um, but just as of right now, it's a lot more harder. I don't have the support that I need. Don't get me wrong. You guys who support me are awesome, of course. As always, thank you very much. But I need a little bit more support. I need a little bit more help. Um, I'll be real with you guys. You know, the only way I get paid through here is um, through AdSense. I run ads in my videos. But also, I believe there's a mark where I do need a 1,000 subscribers as well. And we're not even really necessarily near there. My goal for the end of this year is to hit 200 subs. When we do hit 200 subs, I put it in the drawer down there. But when we do hit 200 subs, I did plan on doing a OG pink shaker cup from G Fuel that hasn't even been opened yet. I was going to give that away to uh, a subscriber. And then I was also going to, if I have the money, hopefully, uh, I was going to do like, okay, if you, I mean, if you try G Fuel, cool. You know, what flavor do you want? If you never tried G Fuel, what do you what do you want to try you know um and if, you know a tub of course you know well i wouldn't you know screw you guys over i mean i don't want to give you a box for like three packs it's kind of that's kind of messed up i get you a tub and then of course a shaker and you're set i mean that's honestly that's that's the only two things you really need is a shaker cup and a tub i mean i started off with a tub and then moved my way to the shaker cups but <laughs> excuse me But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think the next time that I go, of course, I'm going to try to greet myself to those guys. Um, it's really, really important to know people and to have connections because the more people you, the more people you know, um, the better you are off in life because those people, honestly, no matter how big or small they are, they could still help you achieve whatever you're wanting to achieve or they can help you with your goals or they can just help you move forward in life and keep stepping up on the ladder and getting up and up and up and up there you know what i mean so but yeah i mean it is what it is right now for me personally i just want to continue doing these youtube videos i gotta make sure that i'm staying on top of my school work i am a senior in high school for those of you that i don't know so i do have work on top of that so that's why i haven't really been up alone on a lot lady but i don't want to make an excuse about it uh yeah 
Excuse me. My goodness. I'm going to have to end it here pretty soon, guys. I'm sorry. If you've been watching for this long, if you've just been chilling, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. This is coming towards the end of the video. I just want to let you know that the ones who haven't skipped, the ones who haven't skipped this video at all, they have watched the entire thing throughout. Whether you're laying in bed, sitting on the couch, sitting in your chair, just relaxing, whatever. If you've been here the whole time, you guys are the number one. I just want you to know that. Like, when I watch somebody's video, I don't skip through it. I watch the entire video. I don't care if it's 10. I don't care if it's 10 minutes or I don't care if it's a half an hour. You know, those videos mean something to me. And I really do appreciate those videos. Uh, I, I really enjoy them personally because I think that they're uh, really good YouTubers and I think they do really a really good job at what they do. Um, but yeah, like for the ones who didn't skip this video, you guys are number one. Thank you so much for uh, all the support. I really do appreciate it. Honestly, um, if you did watch this video all the way throughout without skipping the video, um, put it in the comment section down below because honestly, that way I know who you are and it will be. Uh, Honestly, probably heighten your chances of winning a giveaway because you are a more loyal subscriber than other people. Uh, to the subscribers that do skip around, uh, I understand. There may not be things that you want to hear, but you're just not necessarily as loyal as the other ones. So it's nothing against you. I know you guys don't want to hear, but the stuff I want to get out, stuff I want to let you guys know. So you could skip over something important that you may miss. And you may not understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But besides the point. <clears throat> I don't I still don't know what to call this video. Um I'll probably just call it, you know, stand up episode one or um Stand Up with O Central, you know. I don't know. That uh, that actually sounds kinda cool. Stand up with O Central. I like that, but um we'll figure it out of course. Uh but yeah. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you did enjoy. Um I wanna create a new outro, but if you <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Guys, if you enjoyed Thank you for being here so much. I really do appreciate it. If you do have any questions or comments or concerns, you can always drop that down in the comment section below. And I don't know how I feel, but I'm getting sidetracked. If you're feeling spunky, you can always hit that subscribe button. And, and uh, yeah, it's your boy Central. And uh, I need to work on a new outro, damn it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Peace.